डियर जूनियर आई आई टी एडवांस एंड मेन स्टूडेंट्स टू इज बिलोंग टू एजुकेर ट्रैक ट्वेंटी फोर एंड एम सर डायरेक्ट बैच वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ ब्रिज कोर्स जस्ट एस डे इट सेल्फ नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू कंटिन्यू द ब्रिज कोर्स सिलेबस ऑलरेडी माई इंट्रोडक्शन एस डे आई सेट दैट माई नेम इज राजू मैथमेटिक्स फैकल्टी हियर yesterday we have discussed about the concept of slope the steepness of a line or steepness of two points joining in a linear way is called as slope i said and slope is equal to yesterday i said that slope is equal to formula y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 like this i said this is the p value yesterday we discussed like this this is the p this is the point x1 comma y1 and here i put a this is o origin and this is b this is d and this is c i put here here p x1 comma y1 and q x2 comma y2 this is the value x1 and the total distance is x2 and this is the value y1 and the total distance is y2 so this is y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 i said so slope slope indicated the letter m and indicated with trigonometric functions tan theta i said the formula tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side in the right angle triangle y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 here this is also notated as rise by run what is rise like this trekking of course the course trek 24 trekking like this is rising and x rising of accelerate of any vehicle you can think this is running running means you cannot run in slope like this like this you cannot run from upwards to down from downwards to upwards in slant height we cannot run properly it is called as rising and this is called as running on the earth on the horizontal so slope also can be notated as rise by run just it is a simple matter rise by run what is rise difference of y coordinates and what is run difference of x coordinates yesterday we discussed about the equation of straight line passing through the origin i equal to mx i said simple concept now types of slopes you can say types of slopes types of slopes So what is the types of slopes here? Draw like this. This is x-axis. This is called as a flat slope. There is no steepness. There is no slant height model like this. Straight in a straight way. This is called as flat. This is called as a flat slope. And this flat slope. This is x-axis. So the line which is x axis or horizontal line which is parallel to x axis is called as horizontal line whether it is x axis now we can write here either positive way this is a positive above above x axis this line you can say as above x axis and here also you can write this is a below x axis below x axis above x axis you can say it is also flat of course it is called as horizontal line horizontal line and uh, here below x axis this is also horizontal line but this is a negative so it is a downwards of x axis and it is upwards of x axis this is also horizontal line the horizontal line which is parallel to x axis is called as a flat slope the slope of horizontal line is called as a flat slope what is the flat slope 
what is the angle of x axis that is the flat zone tangent value tan theta is equal to slope in yesterday we have discussed in yesterday class we discussed that slope of a line indicates with in trigonometry as a tan theta so tan theta is equal to slope what is the using protractor you can find that if you see the angle here here it is 0 degrees and if you see the angle with the protractor it is 180 degrees like that you see the protractor like this then you can find the angle whether it is 0 degrees or 180 degrees so slope indicates slope indicates tan theta means tan here you can say tan 0 degrees tan 0 degrees or tan 180 degrees tan 0 value 0 of course tan 180 also 0 therefore flat slope flat slope or slope of x axis you can write slope of x axis flat slope or slope of x axis is equal to 0 simply 0 now this is first one you can say vertical line this is y axis this is called as y axis or vertical line vertical lines means which is passed parallel to y axis also called as vertical line or it can be notated as perpendicular line of horizontal line or perpendicular line of x axis is vertical line so vertical means here you can understand example this is 0 0 if this is y axis this is simply vertical line if this is y axis it is x axis what is the value of tan 90 degrees slope of vertical slope i am discussing about the slope of vertical line slope of vertical line is equal to tan 90 degrees tan 90 degrees is infinity it is undefined undefined so whenever undefined you can write to slope of y axis slope of y axis are slope of vertical line slope of y axis or slope of vertical line is not defined you write like that is not defined other than vertical line for every difference of difference between two slopes or for every line if you want to dis, if you want to discuss the slope we should mention that it is not vertical line it is not vertical line for a non vertical line for non vertical two lines like that we mention we should mention the value. If we will not mention the value, if you calculate the vertical line, the vertical line slope we cannot define. So other than vertical line we can define. So flat slope and the vertical slope now we have discussed. We can discuss next week. negative slope and positive slope also we can discuss. Negative slope or positive slope. Try to understand the value depends upon here plus plus this depends upon the quadrants this is x axis this is y axis this is x dash and this is y dash. The line here in this model in this plus plus this is called as q1 here it is minus plus this is called as q2 and this is a minus minus this is called as q3 and this is a plus minus this is called as a q4 if you take any point in the first quadrant this is a positive slope here if you take any line any line here in the first quadrant you can get a positive slope this is a plus region means positive minus by minus this one also here you can get here positive slope positive slope you can get in first quadrant and here also positive slope because this is according to trigonometry 
I think you have learned the formula all silver tea cups. All silver tea cups. What is all? In first quadrant, all trigonometric functions are positive. And in second quadrant, yes means sine theta and its reciprocal cosecant theta are positive. Remaining are negative. So tan is negative. Everywhere the slope defined and depends upon tan theta. So it becomes whenever the minus and plus both values are there, minus by plus r plus by minus r minus into plus r plus into minus becomes negative. So in second quadrant line you will be getting negative slope. In third quadrant positive slope because minus by minus r minus into minus and t means tan theta is positive in third quadrant and in first quadrant. So whenever tan theta is positive in first quadrant third quadrant the slopes depends upon the quadrants are positive and here also negative depends upon the tan theta next so flat slope we have discussed negative slope means whatever the tan value is negative let us discuss about example tan 45 tan 45 is 1 you take tan 135 tan 45 means you write here 45 belongs to cuba how can you say that Q1, Q2, sir? This is 90 degrees. If you know 9th table, you can say properly this is 0 degrees, this is 90 degrees, and this is 180 degrees, and this is 270 degrees, and it becomes again 360 degrees. So, it depends upon 9th table, 9 for the 36, like that. Tan 135. So, you can take here tan 135 means tan 90 plus 45. If you know allied angles, you can understand tan 90 plus means minus tan becomes a negative symbol. Whenever all silver tea cups for light becomes a minus cot 45. So it is a minus one. So it is a negative slope. If you take tan to 25 degrees, means third quadrant 180 plus I am discussing with you tan 180 plus 45. Tan 180 plus 45 becomes tan 45. So the value of tan 45 is 1. And if you take tan 315 degrees, you can write here tan 360 minus 45. Tan 360 means, of course, it is nothing but 0 degrees. Tan 0 minus 45 directly you can write as minus tan 45. That is equal to minus 1. Everywhere. The slope depends upon the value of tan theta. So you can understand whether it is in first quadrant it is slope positive and it is in second quadrant slope negative, it is in third quadrant it is positive, it is in fourth quadrant it is negative. So slope of the line or slope of the points depends upon the angle of tan theta according to trigonometry and according to all silver tickets formula and according to quadrants. You can understand now depends upon. Now we have discussed about positive slopes, negative slopes and simply flat slope and vertical slope. These are all non-vertical slopes. Now, before going to discuss about equation of straight line, we can discuss the types of equation of straight line. Yesterday I said the equation of straight line pausing through 0, 0 and having slope m, y is equal to mx. Now, Types equation of let us discuss Roman number two. Roman number one. Yesterday I said that equation of a straight line. Now you can write equation of a straight line. Equation of a straight line having having y intercept. Equation of a straight line having y intercept is a c small c and the slope m that's all equation of a line having y intercept is a c and a slope m that's all now let us going to discuss about the equation of straight line having y intercept c whenever y intercept is c you can put here 0 comma c here i said that the notation of x axis is small x comma 0 and this notation, notation of y axis is 0 comma y. y means y quadrant anything whether it is b or a or c or anything you can write. Here I am going to discuss about equation of straight line having y intercept 
y intercept is c so at on y axis take any point 0 comma c draw a line like this here you put the point p x comma y b any point on the line because the x comma y meaning is this x is x small x units distance from origin on x axis and a small y units distance from origin on y axis now you can say put here a point this is a q now you write a slope of slope of line pq slope of line pq we can arrange we can indicate we can denote the letter with m you can write here c minus y by 0 minus x sir why did you say you cannot no need to ask because i said that difference of y coordinate by difference of x coordinate here y coordinate means c and y coordinate is y only c minus y by 0 minus x according to formula y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that implies now you can write here as m is equal to c minus y by minus x by 1 you put and take cross multiplication you can write here minus mx is equal to c minus y minus, minus y taken that side it becomes y is equal to minus mx taken this side it is mx plus c here now we can write equation of straight line having y intercept c and the slope m is I am writing here as y is equal to mx plus c. It is an important equation of straight line. First of all I am going to discuss the theory with you and later the sum sign give depends upon the theory. y is equal to mx plus c is the equation of straight line pausing through the, there is no pausing. Having a y intercept 0, y intercept c and it is passing to simply x comma y. Now Roman number 3. Equation of the straight line. Equation of straight line. Passing through. Equation of straight line. Passing through a point. Equation of straight line passing through a point x1, y1 and having the slope and having the slope is m is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. This is the formula y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Now, we can draw the same line, simply you write 0 comma c here and you can write here simply here x1 comma y1. Here equation of straight line passing through a point here x1 comma y1 having slope m is y is equal to y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 x1 y1 means it is a point on the line any point of course you can take here x comma y same concept i am taking here you can take x1 comma y1 simply you can write we know that we know that the equation of straight line we know that we know that the equation of a straight line now we had written as y is equal to mx plus c put here this is a first equation since now you can substitute since x1 comma y1 lie on the line here x comma y is a variable point here x1 comma y1 is a passing through point, it is a constant point. So, x lie on line y is equal to mx plus c. Now you can substitute instead of y you can here write y1 is equal to mx1 plus c. Therefore, c is equal to this mx1 taken that side, it becomes y1 minus mx1. Now this one you can substitute, substitute in 1, 
substitute in one you get the answer as y is equal to mx plus c means y1 minus mx1 c means y minus y1 next y1 you take this side it becomes y minus y1 is equal to that implies y minus y1 is equal to mx minus mx1 therefore the equation of straight line is y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 this is the formula equation of straight line passing through a point x1 comma y1 and the slope m is y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 okay students let us discuss equation of straight line in intercept form and other forms in next class okay